Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Hunbold loved you like family and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oath and ale work better than your prayers and saints. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Eivor, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Collect yourself, Hunwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who would pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease.
He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To this great land that bore you. It was here long before your father, and it'll be here long after he's gone. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Before I let it pass, Humboldt, I spoke with Alfgar before this. He gifted me a weapon of your father's. Should I find that odd? Hmm, I, I'm not sure. They often went hunting together, so it's not strange that he should have something of my father's. You don't want it yourself, as a memento mori? No, no. You're better suited to such gifts. I'm a talker, not a fighter. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my... What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm.
my lead. Devils! Who sent you? Speak or be damned! That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes! Including my dear Swanborough! My lady love! Come! Let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear! Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. 
Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes. Resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Labor, And thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright? That you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. <laughs> King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the House of the Ferocious Swan to its former glory. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. 
There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. So, Bradway Midra, the big hard Yes, sir. Mitchell Werner. She made Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I choose Alfgar. He is sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new elderman is Lord Alvgar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your elderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shire Moot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive!
Your troubles begin early, Elfgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tusser can't have gone far. Raise a feared and march against what men he has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Signatra Olympia Sun Sinanatra. Said Ixod has that Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Herefriz, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer. Such carnage I've never seen! That twist- What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. 
Will you ride with us? I've gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp, then, and onward to Anacasta. Follow, if you will. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry hey. what diabolical oh, feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Here. When the feared is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Head of Wraith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this battle with the small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we'll claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Who's fit? Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Livers hang from your mouth! 
explosion could do it. Or I can try hitting it with a spring on it. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment.
these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Heravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Looks like trouble. Ibi in campo intercept septimo. But... Eivor, you fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herefrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. Shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots, but he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. 
I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan. And your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Unvald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Alfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. You are a good boy. Hey, my boy.
breadbasket of Wessex, land of plenty. Zunin, guide me. Do you see?
making great strides to improve the lives of its people. What are you doing? You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfear. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Eivor has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Broder and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. The great day for six warriors to reign. Come. Here I am. Show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. <gasps> What's wrong with you? 